Hi, welcome to Market Alert for Friday, the 11th of May 2018. So the pound started off by uh, moving lower, uh, then found uh, some testing, which you can see there, before prices uh, reversed from the sell signal into a buy signal and trading up to the high and the R1 from the previous day before the market sold off. Uh, wasn't short on this part because this was the uh, Bank of England report saying that uh, growth had been revised down from 1.8 to 1.4 and again citing the cold winter that we've had for their reason to do this. I was surprised they didn't actually use the, the Brexit uh, line which they generally use uh, creating uncertainty but uh, no they said it was set to do with uh, the cold winter keeping people at home and not buying as much if that's uh, to be believed of course so in the uh, in the daily uh, the market uh, continues to trade uh, sideways at the moment you can see this uh, we came down and touched the 134 uh, yesterday 134.57 and it still looks weak uh, prices are going to move there even though uh, we've breached this uh, trend line and we've got these three higher highs uh, we've also got um, the market looking weak and also uh, it's going to take something to drive this market up to this uh, this high of yesterday so I would expect this to continue to uh, the downside for the time being news today uh, Super Mario is out today he's uh, speaking at uh, 2 15 p.m. 15 minutes before the Dow opens and then the uh, we've got the UM consumer sentiment out from the US. Well, that's about it for uh, US news. The Dow yesterday, it was uh, up from the off. Uh, we got a bit of a retracement when we hit resistance here. It came back down to the average line. You can see there that uh, we've got some buying pressure. And I'll just uh, show you what I mean by that. Let's pop the crosshairs on so you can see. And in this uh, bar, we've got. Uh, 884 trades and you can see the range of the bar is quite uh, long from the high to the low and then the next bar we've got uh, 886 and the range is less and we've got a tiny bar coming down and testing the uh, a moving average there market then turns around and moves high you can see the volume is uh, just slightly above average it's not colored green because it's not uh, uh, significantly high enough over the 20 day um, or 20 bar average I should say prices then start to move higher and there's resistance all the way but not a single price bar following falls 50% or closes 50% below the low of any of these potential weakness signals uh, including this one then even this one then we get some buying driving through this area here uh, this one again we can see an increase but it's not uh, as much as I would have thought and then we get uh, the weakness coming in and 50% below that we end up with the sell signal market pulls back and uh, we then see a bit of a, a retracement before we come down and then we see the buying come back into the market again you've got it uh, a cluster of volume here before they just run the market back up around 76% uh, of uh, this level and then prices have traded sideways so if you look at the bigger picture of the Dow you can see once again we've got prices higher but the volume is still very very low in this and in fact it's a less than the previous day and next upside target for this market should it uh, continue to move higher is 24.788 which goes back to the where the selling came in over here and you've got this resistance here so it's going to take a, a decent move to break through this area and if it does then we're off to 24.983 if not we've had uh, many days up we could see the market uh, reverse there as well so what i'm going to do is to remove these two uh, just in case the market does move to the downside and we'll go from here to here first and that's uh, the downside target uh, is where I would actually see uh, the market moving lower and also first downside one will be 24,500 as well yesterday's uh, low 
after that's taken out that's where we would uh, be heading and then finally in uh, bitcoin bit of weakness around in this as well the market started off moving higher yesterday closed below the low and we're below the uh, trend line at the moment we're also through the 9081 and currently trading at 8975 will they be able to bring it back above the 9000 level that's the question or are we going to uh, move lower until we get uh, a shakeout uh, before moving the market back to the upside certainly uh, the volumes dropped off at the moment and again it uh, will have to uh, play this one uh, by the book but at the moment the 9000 level is a crucial area in this market the psychological level major level and one that needs to be watched carefully $25 off this at the moment right that's it uh, for this one and uh, for this week uh, wishing you all a great weekend if there's anything to report I will let you know other than that uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one